Morning, Nigel. And what are you doing with that manky piece of oak there? Um, this manky piece of oak, which actually, yes, it looks manky down here, but once you get into it, it's actually beautiful. Um, what we're doing is we're taking a section out here um, to be replaced then with a good piece of wood to give the, and I can't remember the name of the tenant on the top. It's a teasel tenant. Teasel that tenant missing. that we're missing off the top here to reinstate that. Let me come round and capture this um, teasel yeah, tenant this positioning. Yeah, this is where the tenant is We've got the last remnants of it, of it here. It would have come out about this far and would have been probably about this thick, about an inch and a half thick. So there's only a tiny little stump of it left. But if you come round further, You'll see that we've also got a brace mortise, the outer face of which is completely missing and worn away, decayed away. Uh, so taking out this large slab will give us room for some fixings. Um, we should be able to fix into this wonderful strong piece of uh, timber that remains on the other half of the jail post uh, and we'll then be able to rip out a completely new mortise that will take our lovely curved brace that runs across the first floor elevation. Excellent. And can you just explain to me this this repair This piece? section here was done on an earlier course and is a, a, just an exterior face patch and will allow us to have a whole new tenon which will go in turn into the wall plate which sits here. Okay, so we have the wall plate here and we have the tie beam running across here which joins onto the teaser tenon. So it's that three-way connection that we have at the top of a jail post. Excellent. Thank you, Rick, and thank you, Nigel. So all good practical timber frame repairs going on here at Orchard Barn.